All right, we're here with sophomore defensive back Malik Cromarty. Uh, first, Malik, congratulations. You had a couple of big picks to save uh, touchdowns this afternoon in the end zone. Uh, talk about the first one where going up against a taller receiver and Jonathan Nicely, and it looked like he had it, but then you wrestled it away from him. Talk us about that play. Uh, I mean, at first, like, I had him boxed out but in the way he was pushing me. But, I mean, and then, like, as we got to the end zone, like, first he had the ball and fell, and I snatched it out of his hand at the end. And then I just made a big play for my team at the end. No question. And then you had another one in the end zone uh, later on in the scrimmage. What happened on that play? Uh, uh, one of my teammates, uh, one, Mark Lewis, he uh, hit the ball up. And then I just caught it in my hands. And I was I was trying to score, but I messed around and slipped. So. <laughs> Talk us uh, about the scrimmage overall today and the, the defensive team's effort. Coach Frazier talked about how he was impressed with the way the defense played today. I mean, it's, it's a lot of change. We're more disciplined. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Everything is good for us. I think we're going to have a great season. Hopefully, we'll win our MEAC championship. All right. Malik, thanks you very much. Good luck uh, the rest of the semester in class, and have a good summer. All right. All right. Appreciate it, sir. We're here with the North Carolina Central University defensive coordinator, John Morgan. Uh, not, a, not a strange face to Eagle fans. He's actually on his second trip here to NCCU. Just wrapped up a successful spring game on the defensive side of the ball. Is that how, how you would classify today's effort? Uh, very, very much so. You know, we started at a point where I was shaking my head a little bit that first week of practice. But I told the guys, if, if they work hard, that we can get to the point where we are now. And we had a pretty good day today. How? What, what did you like uh, out of what you saw today? What were some of the key points to, to what you had today that was going right for you? Uh, we had some of the younger guys, especially the secondary guys, who made some big plays for us, which was important. You know, we have some some older guys. And uh, uh, Reese and, and Mark Lewis, who and, and uh, David Ingram, who played last year and have the game experience, but obviously we're going to need some younger guys to help them out. And then you look at the linebackers with uh, Ty Brown and uh, Demontre Rowland. You know those guys were red shirts last year, so it's going to be very important for them to step up and do good things for us for us to be successful. And talk about the uh, the pace of play. I know there's been a lot said about how the offense is running, you know, plays so quickly. Well, that actually impacts the defense as well because you all got to be ready on the defensive side of the ball and probably in pretty good shape. Talk, talk to us about that. Well, you know, initially I was kind of I was kind of bothered by it, you know, trying to put it in a new system. You know, I didn't really have time to teach the guys. But as, as time went along and, and we got deeper and deeper into spring football, the guys started to get a good understanding of what I wanted to do and we were able to adjust to the speed. I mean, it's, it's a great idea by Coach Frazier. You know, we're definitely going to need to do that in the fall uh, because teams are going to try to do hurry up ones. And by our offense doing that all the time, we'll definitely be prepared for it. But then at the same time, when teams slow it down, you know, we'll be that much farther, farther ahead because we've worked on that uh, fast pace all the time. All right. Well, Coach, uh, thank you very much.